Hello and welcome to a new video where I will show you how to install and configure my newest plugin, Umomatic Umly Recipe Post Generator plugin for WordPress. So to get started, click plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, navigate to a zip file you download, and click install now. After the installation, activate the plugin and go to plugin settings. Here you will see that the plugin requests an app ID and app key for Yamli. Simply click here, log in if you are prompted, and here <coughs> click view. Here you will have the app ID and app keys. Don't bother using my app ID and app key because I will regenerate it and delete this one after I finish this video. Copy paste it here and save info. Now we can head to last latest recipes to posts and create some rules to import uh, some recipes. Now uh, let's have a look at our blog. It's empty and we can start creating rules. Let's say I want to import potato soup. I want to run this rule every 24 hours, maximum 10 posts to be imported at once, post should be published, the item type should be post, here also will appear any custom post type you have on your WordPress blog, the post admin, uh, uh, the admin should be the post author and some advanced settings. Here we can uh, change the post title, here we have shortcodes to use, uh, <coughs> the shortcodes will be replaced for each post with the custom value, uh, the post content also can be changed, the post content has many more shortcodes to use, require pictures, if you check this only recipes with pictures will be returned maximum cooking time you can define the maximum cooking time in seconds that you want to get recipes for advanced query parameters you can head over here and check uh, what you can introduce here there are a lot of things allowed ingredients excluded ingredients allergy diet cuisine course holiday and many many more check out this link and you will <coughs> have more info on this post search offset if you want to start from uh, uh, the number 10 recipe in the result set you enter here 10 and you will jump over the first 10 recipes strip images from content if you don't want images in, in your content limit title word count disable post excerpt uh, generated post format additional post categories you can select here multiple categories if you uh, click control uh, if you hold down control auto add categories from course cuisine title or all remove uh, WordPress default post category, auto add tags, same as uh, categories, additional post tags, manual input tags, enable comments, pingback, trackbacks, auto get featured image, default featured image, if uh, no featured image available, you can input here an image path, get extended item information, if you uncheck this, uh, very few information will be grabbed per recipe, only some basic information will be available, but you won't consume epic API calls for each recipe, you will consume only one API call per uh, rule run. If you have this checked, then you will consume the one API call for getting the recipes and additional one API call for each posted recipe so be aware of this and try to get full recipe content this will try to get also the uh, the method of the 
preparation, the instructions for the recipe preparation. If you uncheck this, the instruction will be likely unavailable. Skip recipes that cannot be parsed. The plugin that cannot parse uh, some recipes, then the plugin will get the full content of the recipe, how it appears on the original page. If you check this, this kind of recipes will be skipped. Okay, so let's save the settings and finally we can run our rule. The rule is running right now. Let's check our blog. Yet nothing is posted, but we should have some... Uh, okay, the posts are starting to appear. Yep, all our potato soups and the rule already finished running. Let's have a look at a potato soup. You can change this content as you like, so don't be afraid that you will stick to this content. No, you can change it. It is very dynamic. Okay, now uh, <coughs> let's head and enter vegan here, save settings, run again. Until then, I'll show you the activity and logging section. Here you will see what rule is running with ID 0. Restore plugin default settings, delete all posts generated by this plugin and activity log. Here you will see any activity in the plugin if you enable it. Let's head back to main settings now. Uh, the rule finished running. Let's refresh our blog. Here are some vegan recipes. Turkish eggplant casserole. Okay, now let's go here and check out some other option. Do not check for duplicates. If you check this, duplicate posts will be posted on your blog. Uh, strip links from generated post content, show extended item information meta box. I'll show you what this is. Uh, one minute. Okay, back. If we go to a post, this is the, uh, the meta box that the plugin generates and you can disable this with this settings. Enable logging, detail logging automatically clear logs timeout for rule running if the rule takes this more than this much seconds it will automatically be stopped you can send an email report to this email address after rule running minimum title worker maximum title worker minimum content worker by what is required what list you can define restrictions and the post if it does not meet these restrictions it not will be posted Require all the words. If you uncheck this, only one word is required in the required word list. If you check this, all the words is requ are required. Here you can resize the featured image to desired size. Strip HTML content by ID or class. Strip posts that do not have images. Automatically translate content using Google Translate to any language you desire. High Google Translate pop up from the resulting content. Skip text using word synonym spin text you can spin the text that are resulting with using five met uh, four methods a built-in one and three custom ones from which one is paid the best spinner you can uh, generate random sentences with this plugin you can define here sentences with variables you can define the values for variables here the plugin will take at random one sentence and will replace the variables with <coughs> the values you define also at random. Also, you can define custom HTML codes where you can add your add codes or your any custom HTML code with this short code and this short code. You can use this in content and an affiliate keyword replacer tool search for a keyword replace it with another one and add a link to it so this is all i hope you will enjoy this plugin have a nice day bye bye